Scientists make stunning discovery deep beneath Antarctic ice. We even found lobster-like creatures. More than half a mile beneath Antarctica's Cambay stream, scientists have uncovered a hidden, slow-moving river that's been flowing for thousands of years. This groundbreaking discovery sheds new light on how Antarctica is melting from below and what it could mean for coastal communities around the world. What did scientists discover? During a recent expedition, researchers drilled over 1,600 feet into the West Antarctic ice sheet. What they found was astonishing, a subglacial river flowing under the Ross Ice Shelf, a mix of freshwater and seawater winding its way toward the ocean. The river is enormous, roughly the height of a 30-story building and the width of a city block. At the bottom of the borehole, we hit water, said expedition leader Hugh Horgan. And using our camera, we even spotted a school of lobster-like creatures 400 kilometers from the open ocean. Researchers believe this river occasionally surges about once every decade when nearby subglacial lakes drain into it. These surges may carve out channels in the ice, accelerate melting, and move nutrients that support mysterious ecosystems below the ice. Why does it matter? The Ross Ice Shelf acts like a natural plug holding back Antarctica's inland ice and slowing sea level rise. But rivers like this one can thin the shelf from below, weakening that plug. When the ice shelf thins, land-based ice can slip into the ocean more easily, speeding up global sea level rise. Higher sea levels can lead to stronger storm surges, more frequent flooding in coastal areas, and added strain on infrastructure, agriculture, and public health systems. Some experts also warn that rising waters could disrupt how pathogens move through ecosystems, increasing the risk of disease spread. Human-driven pollution continues to intensify extreme weather, making storms, floods, and droughts more destructive. Understanding these hidden ice and water systems is crucial to preparing for what's to come. What can you do? We may not be able to control what happens under the ice, but we can reduce the pollution driving climate change and help our communities become more resilient. Here are some practical steps. Install solar panels and batteries to reduce energy bills and keep your home powered during outages. Use tools like Energy Sage to compare local solar installers and potentially save thousands. Upgrade your home with heat pumps, better insulation, and energy efficient appliances. Choose cleaner transportation like biking, carpooling, or electric vehicles. Cut down on single use plastics and reduce waste where you can. Technology and policy are helping communities adapt with improved early warning systems, better flood defenses, and expanded support for energy-efficient upgrades. Small changes multiplied across millions of people can make a big difference.